Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading. We're going to see what the rest of September looks like for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. We're going to take a look and see what's coming into the reading, what's influencing that energy, recent past, what's on your mind, why is it all happening, what will you experience in the near future, how you see yourself throughout the rest of September, who or what's in your environment coming towards you, hopes and fears, and what is your outcome. Make sure you stick around to the end of the reading. Or don't bow out early because I'm going to be clarifying this bad bleep, bleep, bleep of a reading and it can change the whole storyline. So if you leave early, you might miss the story. All right, let's check it out. Coming into the reading, we've got the High Priestess, Major Arcana for Pisces. You could be connecting with a Pisces or you have a Pisces coming in. But coming into the reading right now, this energy is very closed off, kind of secretive, silent. You might even be experiencing the silent treatment from someone. She's super intuitive, but very still, very quiet, very mysterious. What's influencing that high priestess? The three of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So we're getting a lot of watery energy. Three of cups, reconciliations, forming an agreement, celebration, joy, happiness, right? So it could be somebody's closed off to that, or maybe, you know, you're surrounding yourself, you know, with people or a certain person, a situation where it could be possible, but coming in right now, we're quiet. So we're going to see why. What's on your mind, Capricorn Knight of Pentacles? There's your earth energy. So on your mind is things are just kind of standing still. He's in pursuit of something. That pentacle could represent money, right? But maybe, you know, things aren't opening up quite yet. You're waiting for some sort of joy or good news. On your mind is possibly things not moving forward, but there's still potential. And with that knight of pentacles, it is very cautious, slow, responsible energy. What happened in the recent past? We have a queen of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, more cups. Could have been connecting with a water sign. Queen of Cups, so even in the upright, her intuition is bang on. She's quite emotional, even in the upright. She has love to offer, but that cup is closed because, again, somebody's using their intuition on whether to offer the cup or not. Could be you, even though you're not a water sign, you can still take on that energy. What's the situation, Capricorn? Why is it all happening? Three of Swords, so separation. Somebody seems disappointed. It feels like somebody wants to reunite or offer a cup in some facet here. There's disappointment, longing. It, it could literally be a breakup or a separation. Keep in mind the Three of Swords could be a separation from an idea. It doesn't have to be a person, but there seems to be some sort of disappointment and it's because coming into the reading, we're closed off, silent. Something's not, you know, being broadcast and it definitely has to do with joy, happiness, some sort of celebration or reconciliation. Feels like a lot of you still see forward movement but things just aren't moving as of yet. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Emperor in reverse. We've got another major arcana, Aries, showing up to the party. This is a loss of control over a situation, um, you know, a loss of power. If it's a person that you're connecting with or have been connecting with, could be somebody who when you know things seem out of control, they get quite angry when things don't go their way. Seems like, but to me, it feels Capricorn coming in, there's more of a it's more of a loss of control or power. Things may seem quite chaotic and it's because of this three of swords, whether that's your energy, their energy, both of you, the situation. Some of you are connecting with a real, a real a-hole boss. The emperor in reverse can be a boss who's quite difficult. This is somebody who, when they don't get their way, they literally will throw a cup at your head, right? And this person lacks boundaries and you're thinking about pulling away from the situation, you're using your intuition. You just want that joy back in your life. But for others of you, this is an actual relationship or situation where you're just kind of standing still because coming in, there's this loss of power. How do you see yourself? The wheel of fortune in reverse. Things aren't going my way. Things haven't gone my way. Maybe there's been a loss of fortune. This is feeling quite stuck. You may even feel as though you're in some sort of repetitive cycle. We've got a major arcana. The Wheel of Fortune can certainly talk about karma. Could be, you know, being tested by the universe in some way here. With that Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you just feel like bad luck's on your side. Or again, a situation just hasn't panned out the way you thought it would. Uh, and again, sorry, I'm trying to adjust my camera. But for some of you, this has been a cycle. It's like you know, the universe is trying to show you something, right? Show you the light, wanting you to change your ways, but it's, you feel stuck. And again, it's because of some sort of loss or disappointment. What or who's in your environment coming in that you don't see? 
we've got a nine of wands in reverse. So this is, you know, screw it. I'm not going to deal with it. Nine of wands in reverse fire, Leo Sagittarius. But this is like, I'm too tired. I'm too annoyed to deal with something. So I just kind of lay it down, right? And, and that nine of wands in reverse is I don't have the fight in me. Because in the upright, that nine of wands is all about the wounded warrior. He pushes forward, right? Sometimes he pauses because he needs to take a minute. And he's guarded and fearful, but he always perseveres. But in the reverse, this is the universe bringing this energy or a person that's just like, I can't fight the fight. You know, I, the, the cause, I just, I can't push forward in this. Some of you guys, are, again, are connecting with like a boss that's just super manipulative, power hungry, controlling. And the universe is telling you need to get out of that situation. This person may even be quite secretive. You're thinking about your money and your future and your, your success. And you're keeping quiet about probably moving on from a situation or even, a, you know, a friendship, a relationship. Others of you, again, it is romantic, but it's a situation where the universe is saying, listen, we want you to learn something here. What's going on in your hopes or fears, Capricorn? You've got the tower major for Scorpio. This is having an epiphany, right? Remember, this is going on in your emotions, Capricorn. That tower is a huge kind of aha moment. It could be an epiphany. Like, I, I need to level everything I've done here. I need to start from scratch because things just aren't going my way. I got to start again. And in order to do that, I need to see things in a different way. But things have to come down so that I can rebuild. This is a huge, I think that this is a huge epiphany for you. That you either are, you know, moving towards, you know, the wrong people, the wrong job, the wrong job situation, people at work, friends, family. It just feels like you're surrounded by things that have been repetitive and they haven't gone your way. But what you're going to find out throughout the rest of September is this enlightenment, this tower moment, which kind of opens everything up. That you need to approach something differently and the universe is trying to push you to do that. What's the outcome? What do we got? The lovers. Gemini energy, soulmate energy, but the lovers, again, with the theme of this reading, Capricorn, this is really kind of taking an approach where you're using logic over emotion. You could have been entangled in a situation here, which was quite emotional, Queen of Cups, you, them, both of you, whatever. Your emotions got the best of you. Things didn't quite go somebody's way here. Now nobody's talking or people are, you know, again, just kind of quiet. The universe is saying, listen, you don't have control over this situation. We want you to get out of this rut. Don't get caught up in these cycles. And I think with that lovers, again, Gemini energy, that's really the, you've got a lot of major arcana. That's really the universe speaking to you and saying, listen, take your emotions out of this. You need to start using more logic. Listen, we've all been there, right? But there's definitely a situation. It involves a partnership with that lovers where you know, start seeing people in situations for how how and who they really are. And it feels like the rest of September is going to be a huge moment, a huge epiphany. Listen to your, you know, watch for signs, listen to the universe. You know, you start seeing consecutive numbers and things like that. This is a month of the universe really kind of tapping you on the shoulder, Capricorn, and say, saying, you know, we want to get you moving forward. But first you need to separate from, you know, old ideas, old types of people, old situations that are leaving you stuck. And it feels like, by the end of the month, you have that kind of epiphany and you're able to make choices and decisions when it comes to matters of the heart or again with the lovers partnerships um, by using logic more than emotion. All right, let's see what's up, Capricorn. Make sure you hang out to the end of the reading. I'm going to let you know how you can receive a free private reading from me. We'll talk about that at the end. But first, we're going to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. We're going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot. Also, too, check out the extended reading. We're going to focus just on your love life for the rest of September. I'll put that link below in the description box. And... I'll pin it in the comment section. Hey, if you like this reading, make sure that you give it the thumbs up, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's do it. Everyday Witch Tarot. What else does Capricorn need to know for the rest of September? Coming in, we've got the High Priestess. What's this about? And the Three of Pentacles. Could be a work situation. There's your Earth Energy. Again, we've got a couple threes showing, which it's not just third party. The threes are talking about forming an agreement, teamwork, 
being on the same page here. Now, since this is pentacles, you are an earth sign, maybe coming into the reading, somebody's closed off to that, or there's like this silence between you and someone. Again, it doesn't have to be love, but there's this energy with the three of pentacles of somebody still wanting to work on this, to come together, to be on the same page. Three of Pentacles, the sun, to have some sort of happiness, joy, positivity, and change. Feels like you experienced that here with someone. That's why this Three of Cups is influencing this energy, wanting to heal a situation and find that joy and happiness again. And for some of you, that's with, you know, doing a job that you love, but you're dealing with Emperor in reverse. Why is the Three of Cups influencing this? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a falling out, definitely, with a family member or group of you guys with that Three of Cups, maybe over money. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of stabil stability, a lack of long-term commitment, marriage, like building that for the future. Somebody's just not on that page. The Three of Cups can literally also really talk about joy and happiness, a friendship, like I have a good time with you, but I, I'm not going to commit to you. There's not a commitment. There's no long-term here. And some of you, again, this could literally have been a divorce. Um, if that's the situation, though, one of you definitely wants to still reunite or reconcile your differences here. As far as career goes, you just feel like the money isn't there right now. Like you really just want happiness and joy and something is lacking stability. And it's probably this emperor in reverse withholding what you deserve. Why is the queen of cups in the past? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces with the lovers. Again, Gemini, choices and decisions in the recent past, a union, a coming together, could have been a very strong connection, but we know that there's been some sort of separation or falling apart here, breakup, something like that. And again, keep in mind, with the lovers showing twice now, it could be a partnership of some sort. It doesn't have to be love. You've got the Wheel of Fortune that wanted to spill over, so we're going to take it. Again, karma some sort of lesson some sort of feels like a karmic soulmate capricorn if this is hitting for love this feels like a lesson and keep in mind you might still be with this person three of swords can really talk about a disagreement an argument maybe somebody sleeping on the couch but this is all about hey capricorn you've been down this you know road before this isn't your first rodeo in a situation here universe is trying to get your attention here right and to not repeat something a type of person a fight that you have with a person asshole bosses something like that it's like red light blinking throughout this reading for september what's on your mind is the knight of pentacles there's your earth energy and the king of wands leo sag aries it's such a difference in energy here on your mind. It's like, I got to be cautious. Things are kind of just at a standstill. I know my goal. I'm going to reach my goal. I just have to take my time doing it. Things aren't moving the way that I want. And with the king of wands here, could it be a fire sign you're involved with in some way? Yeah. Boss, lover, family member, certainly could. But also for a lot of you, this is your energy. It's like, I want to take action because that's what the king of wands does. The King of Wands makes things happen. It's like go time with the King of Wands, right? So you've got this like on your mind, this push-pull energy. Why is it all happening? We've got the Three of Swords. We've got another King, King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you have separated from another Earth sign. They probably have fire in their chart as well, male or female. But also, again, you know, the King of Pentacles in reverse, greedy, selfish, right? Somebody, um, you know, especially if it's like on the work front here, you're definitely getting the raw end of the deal from somebody here who's just not giving you what you deserve. I will mention when I was pre-shuffling, the Six of Pentacles came out, right? And this is all about that equal give and take, receiving what you deserve, balance. And for some of you, it is financial. And this Emperor in reverse is withholding that from you. Again, others of you, you're just dealing with a very non-committal person. Somebody just does not want to be in a long-term commitment. Or if you're in a marriage or a long-term relationship, there's fighting. There's this coming apart here, not on the same page. And it probably has to do with finances. King of Pentacles in reverse is like, I'm focused on my career, my money. You know, I'm just not focused on a relationship. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the emperor in reverse. For some of you, it's you that wants to focus on your career money. You've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, a lot of Aries there coming into the near future. 
feel like a work situation, a boss, a coworker, something like that, Capricorn, you're dealing with somebody who's quite flighty. Their energy is very up and down, very in and out, not the most consistent. One minute you're the best employee in the world and the next minute they can't remember your first name, even though you're bringing a lot to the table. But it's just, it, it, there's a loss of control over the situation with the emperor in reverse. Why is the uh, Knight of Wands coming into the near future? The Strength card, a lot of fire. Look at now we got Leo. Having to hold back, tame yourself, really, probably from telling this boss or coworker or nasty family member to F off. The Strength card is really taming that inner beast that wants to just tell somebody to go to hell. In fact, go straight to hell. You're going to find that you're not doing that. And I really feel also too more on the romantic side. Somebody's just holding back. And the emperor says, or the universe says, mm -mm, Capricorn, we got this for now. We're trying to throw you a bone. We want you to see the light. We want you to, to grasp this and learn some sort of repetitive cycle, the lesson within that. How do you see yourself? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why? Why do you see yourself as the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? And yeah, see, the emperor in reverse, you might be kind of pissed off at the universe right now too, right? Like, why does this keep happening, right? Why do I feel stuck? Why do I keep, you know, biting on, you know, a bone that isn't for me? I don't know. I just made that up. But you know what I'm saying? There's, it, it's like, why do I keep going down this path, right? What is it that I'm not grasping or that I'm not learning from situations or relationships feels big with all the major arcana. I'd highly rec recommend, you know, cleansings for the rest of the month, you know, doing your meditations, your affirmations, like really connecting with spirit, your angels, whomever you talk to or connect with. But with the emperor in reverse, you see yourself as a loss of, with this loss of power or control as well. Who or what's in your environment coming in? Nine of Wands in reverse with the Eight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. People see the Eight of Wands and they automatically think, oh, communication, the arrows of love. And it certainly can be. But on that Nine of Wands in reverse, we have to keep in mind this Eight of Wands is also travel forward quickly. The energy is picking up. It's a release, right? And you're able to move forward. Why? Well, because coming in external to you with that nine of wands and reverses, okay, I see this. I can release this energy. I don't have to push forward. I don't have to be the wounded warrior. If it's not working for me, I can just lay it the F down and I can manifest in a new direction. So it's like a little bit heavy through here, having some sort of enlightenment, the universe tapping you on the shoulder and saying, Capricorn, it's time to get moving, move forward, right? And we're going to help you. What's going on in your hopes or fears? You've got the tower, major for Scorpio. Why is the tower here? And the four of wands in reverse. So with that tower and the four of wands in reverse, could that certainly be a breakup or a divorce? It could be. But I think that the bigger picture here throughout the rest of the month is, again, you kind of taking off the blindfold and seeing, you know, now I don't want to say the errors of your way. But it could be the errors of their way. It could be the errors of, of the way that you evolve, right? Or have evolved towards relationships, friendships, what you allow family members to bring to the table, how you allow people to treat you. This feels like a big pause this month. And then this enlightenment, especially with that sun there. Do I feel like you want to make something better here with somebody? Absolutely. But I feel like as you go through the month, again, the universe is giving you these kind of signals, these signs that, hey, maybe if you approach something a little bit differently, you're going to have that enlightenment. And there's other things for you that are meant for you, that are better for you. Um, and I will, I just heard this, and so I'm going to hit on this. Those of you that are already married or in a very long-term relationship, again, there's been this upheaval. And it's kind of been coming to the surface. It's coming to the boiling point. I think for a lot of you, it's financial. And there's probably been some discussions about a breakup or a divorce or something like that. And it seems like there's this enlightenment. Again, this tower moment that hits throughout the month. Like, uh-oh, if we don't get our shit together, this is going to, this relationship will dissolve, right? This isn't going to work. There will be no more stability within this relationship. So this is more enlightenment on how to pick that up and move forward, work on something. Because you've got the lovers here in the outcome. So we've got Gemini, 
Why is the lovers here for Capricorn and the Queen of Pentacles? There you are. Male or female, she's always Capricorn for me. So what is she? <laughs> she's typically in a relationship where she's married, right? She's very well-rounded. She has a strong focus on family, on her money, on her career, his or her. It's just energy. Some of you will make the choice or decision when it comes to matters of the heart. It's like, hell, this, the, again, this hasn't worked. Something hasn't worked here. So I'm going to use that logic instead of emotion. I'm going to pick up the pieces and I am really going to focus on nurturing myself. I still want a commitment. I want a relationship, but I want it with somebody who wants it with me. Queen of Pentacles, right? She's very, very um, stable. She can do it all, right? But she can also have, you know, she'll never use emotion when making decisions. She's very slow, very cautious, very careful when it comes to making choices and decisions. That soulmate energy or those relationships, partnerships when it comes to the lovers. I feel like for a lot of you, if this is hitting for career, there's a bigger, broader kind of thing coming for you that will bring more financial stability your way as well because it just feels like people have been taking advantage you seem to have a lot of skill set at whatever you do here for your career and money and somebody's going to want to open up a partnership with you which will lead to a lot more financial stability it's like f this situation or person when it comes to career again those of you that are in a long-term established relationship money gets better. There seems to be bickering or fighting or something like that. And it's a little bit dramatic, right? Like, oh, F it. We're just going to get divorced. That's it. Call a lawyer. Something like that. But that energy seems to shift for those of you that's hitting. And that lover says, listen, we have this very strong connection, this strong union. Nobody's going anywhere. We got to fix it. Finances start to get better, right? But again, others of you, I think the majority in love, it's just like being attracted to the same type of person and getting in that web of where you just feel stuck. And this is a month where the universe says, hey, guess what, Capricorn? It doesn't have to be this way. Let's let it all fall down, rebuild, and start taking a different approach because it's there for you. Focus on that money. Focus on nurturing yourself. Make that choice or decision to bring in the right person for you. But in the meantime, we want you to, you know, focus on your future. Give me one card of advice for all Capricorn. Five of Pentacles. Feeling like, when's it going to be my turn, right? Like, I feel shut out. I feel like everybody's, you know, got somebody, got the perfect relationship. I mean, why do I keep being drawn to the wrong type of person or the wrong people in general. It can even be a group of friends, right? It just feels like Capricorn, again, lessons are going to be really big this, the rest of this month. And with that five of pentacles, you may have to lose a little bit financially throughout the month because, again, it looks like somebody doesn't see your worth anyway in order to get to this new partnership, which will lead to a lot more abundance. And for some of you, it's starting a side hustle or working from home, bringing in more money while you're looking to switch this out, whatever this is. This emperor in reverse is pissing me off. I don't like it. All right. So watch your spending for the month as well. All right. If you guys want to win a free private reading, let me know your moon sign below. That's all you need to do. And if you don't know your moon sign, just let me know you want a private reading. You can comment on any of the September readings. It doesn't have to just be this reading. I will see y'all over on the extended. We're going to find out more about love. I got to see what the hell has happened and what's going to come in for you for the rest of September. So we'll check that out over on the extended. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care.